this is a tutorial for activity one and the instructions on number one number one says to create a database and name it PB students using Microsoft Access so we just create a database in Microsoft Access name it PB students which is right here on my cursor I create a table named TBL users TBL users right there you do that by clicking new and going to design view well going to the design view you should go to this page the page looks like this and then it says to follow this little table and name the fields FLD username FLD name FLD password the data type and all three of them are text field size of FLD username making it 30 field size of FLD name 100 field size of password 30 and then also the input mask of the password is password so just click on input mask click these three little dots go to password next and then finish and the last one says to make the primary key the FLD username so just click here the FLD username and click this little key symbol here, primary key. So close that. We save. Go back to our visual basic. Number two says design the forms one and two, including the given controls, given names and properties. So if you followed it correctly, you should have something that looks like this. Now you see the auto control here. Some some sometimes when you load your Visual Basic, it's not here on this toolbar. So if that is the case, you just right click on an empty space, go to components, computer's running a little slow. Okay. Then go to find the Microsoft. Addo data control 6.0. This one right here. Check the checkbox, and then later on in activity two we'll have a data grid, so might as well check this one too. Microsoft data grid control 6.0. So check both of those, and then click OK. And these two icons here, the ad hoc and the data grid, should be here on the toolbar. Now number three. For the form login, A says the password character is the asterisk. So we just go to the text box of the password, txt password, go down to password character, and put in this asterisk symbol. What that does is that when you run the program, I'm sorry. When you run the program, the values that you put into your text box of the password will be asterisk symbols. Okay. So, okay, now 3AB says clicking the login button will determine if the username and password exist in the database. Code the correct statement with the following conditions. Well, it's talking about Visual Basic and Access. So now we have to connect the two using the Addo control. So we just click on the Addo here. Go down to Connection String. Click three dots. Click Build. Then Microsoft Jet 4.0. Then click Next. Select or enter a database name. So Click three dots and find your database. DB Students is the name of our database. You can remember from what we did at number one. So I click open and test connection. If you want, you can delete the path name and test connection. Some people like doing that. Right? And okay. Then click apply. From here, you can go to the next step, which is the record source. 
appear in this tab here, record source. So then we go to command text SQL. Type in the following statement. Select asterisk from TVL users. Apply. Okay. So next, what we do is 